for showing up to watch your love reading for the month of October 2017. This is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, although personally I think your moon sign is going to resonate the best, so if you need to ascertain what that is, there's a little link in the description box below. You could also be watching this video if you are spying on a Scorpio, because you know what they say about Scorpios? They're the one sign that you'll never forget. Like, if you're in a relationship with a Scorpio, you'll always be like, oh, man, thinking about that Scorpio. Like, forever. So, you know, as a Scorpio, moon myself, that's my little revenge. <laughs> because Scorpios can be like that. It's like, you know what? Yeah, you'll miss me for the rest of your life, you fuckhead. Okay. Anyway, I've got to get rid of that negative energy. Let's reset. <sighs> okay. Your love for the month of October 2017. How are you seeing yourself, Scorpios? Kind of defeated, right? Like, not dead, you know? Like, things from the past haven't um, killed you, but you're not yet, like, mentally, you're like, you know what? Yeah, I'm stronger for it. I've learned my lessons. But you might not have that gusto to, like, really get out there and start looking for love. You're just like... Not excited. I'm just cool. I'm going to sit back. I'm going to be single. Uh, I'm not ready for that to change. I just don't have the energy yet. Um, how are others seeing you? Well, they're not seeing you because you're not taking advantage of opportunity to go out and meet people. They're like, they don't see you as crazy or anything like that. Um, they're not like, whoa, like this Scorpio has been through some stuff. Like, why aren't they out there dating? They're just like, you're not even on anyone's radar right now. And it's because you're not taking action. Maybe you're not, um, maybe you haven't fired up your Tinder account in a while. Maybe you're not going out with your friends. Maybe, you know, you're working from home instead of the coffee shop, that kind of a thing. Um, so what should you be avoiding this month in regards to your love life? And they're like, avoid not taking action. Avoid not talking to people. Avoid thinking about the past. Well, that's for sure. And avoid this, like idea of like oh I can't have fun like I can't go out right now like I'm in this time of healing I'm in this time of solitude and getting my mind straight no fuck that shit go out have a good time um what should you be doing to grow or increase or attract love this month and they're like the hidden thing here is maybe it's because of finances and because you're trying to set like new routine, like a new life after whatever um, you've been through in the past, that that you're not doing these things. Okay, that just like jumped out. But so what should you be doing in order to grow or increase or attract love? Um, this is kind of confusing because basically the way that they laid the cards out here is they're like, well, should we even talk about it? Because fact of the, it's like they're, okay, so angels can be kind of funny sometimes. That's the way that I read is I channel, you know, the collective Scorpio angels. So um, your guardians or your spirit guides. And they're kind of being snarky here. What they're saying is, why are we even talking about this? Because you're not going to follow the advice. They're like calling you on it. They're basically like, look. You're not taking advantage of any opportunities here. You're not excited to go out and meet people. You're really putting zero effort into it, not even on a mental plane. Like, you're not even psyching yourself up. You're not even, like, thinking about, like, cute outfits that you could wear when you go out. Nothing is changing here. You're not manifesting shit. You're not trying. You're not thinking, you're not going out. You're not, like, thinking about the things that you want in the long term or in the short term. Like, so they're like, what's the fucking point? Why are we going to tell you? <laughs> but okay let's say that this is not you because you know what in a general reading I'm reading for lots of people but um for those of you who are who are actually actively looking for love that you're trying to manifest it that you're making an effort um what is gonna work for you here and they said you know what don't so much pay attention to the details of what it is you're trying to manifest they're like the big thing is moving away from emotions that are not so healthy to things that are smooth and calm. So asking um, in general terms, like for what you're trying to manifest, like a relationship that is calm and cool and balanced, where there's emotional maturity, where um, there's really great communication is going to be important, where it's fair, it's upfront, and it's honest. Um, you should be looking for a very committed marriage, like 
relationship because um, what it is is that you've been attracting people who are deceptive. Okay, in the past, where they are liars, or um, you know, they could lie through omission. But the thing is, is that created a lot of drama, and we don't want to attract it again. And so they're like, think about the verbal communication and um, like the mental kind of things about the future partner that you would want, less so than their, um, you know, what are they financially stable? Are they um, how are they emotionally? Are they romantic? That kind of thing. Those are things that we don't want to be talking about right now when we're trying to manifest. We want to put our focus on communication because that's the biggest thing for you right now to avoid getting in the same patterns as before. Okay, so what's working for you in the month of October? And they're like, the fact that you are cutting ties to... Um, People and relationships and patterns from the past that were total bullshit, that were bad. Um, and if you're having a hard time with that still, you should watch the Chords of Attachment video in the Spiritual Tools playlist, I think it is on this channel, um, because that will really, really help. Sometimes you have to do it more than once, but to cut your Chords of Attachment um, doesn't necessarily sever ties with people entirely, but it does kind of cut the bullshit out, like the bad patterns. They're like... Um, you know, taking this time to yourself is helpful in certain regards, but it won't be helpful for the whole month of October. Now, what's working against you? They're like, you know what? Life isn't fair <laughs> and it hasn't been fair. And when we sit in that energy of like, life isn't fair, life isn't fair, we're attracting things that are unfair to us. Um, and they're like, you know, so stop doing that first and foremost. And that's why communication and stuff as far as manifestation goes, is really important because we're going to want to um, work on attracting people who are honest, who are genuine, who are upfront, that kind of a thing. Um, what are the lessons that we are overcoming in the month of October in regards to love? Patience. Everything's going to happen in divine in divine order and timing, um, but we do have to co-create with that. And the background of that mandala was yellow. So that's about our personal power when we're talking about our chakra system. Excuse me. <clears throat> what is the overall outcome for the month of October for Scorpios? Oh, love is coming. But not if we're sitting here stuck in the past. <laughs> Cords of attachment. Cut those bitches up. Um, and then I wanted to kind of look and see, what will your Halloween be like? And they're like, well, that really depends. Because if you're not manifesting anything, it'll be like any other Halloween. You know, just just the way that it typically goes. Whatever you usually do, however it usually has been, that's what it'll be like. And you might not be very excited about it. So, you know, if you're going to hand out candy like last year, then you're going to hand out candy like the same, you know? Um, they're like, but it won't be dramatic, so there's that. But let's say that you are one of those who works really hard, you cut your cords of attachment, you start manifesting something, what'll your Halloween be like? They're like, it'll be fantastic. Um, everything that you'll have been doing will be for your highest good, and there's a good chance that you won't be single. So hey! Well, I'm hoping that's the case, because I want to be Tinkerbell this year for Halloween, and I really want a Peter Pan. So, I'm going to start manifesting it. <laughs> Love and light, and see you next month. Thanks so much for watching my video. Check out terriblyaccurate.com for a personal reading. Follow on Snapchat, like on Facebook.